ask everybody to stand for the last post limit and rouse, please. PTSD and the devastating effects it can have on our families and us. Symbols. Last year, with the very able assistance of George and Marty Workman, who are in the audience here today from Osaga Beach, three symbolic guard posts were erected around the around the park here. And you can see one on each end and one directly behind. Home Depot have very graciously provided the material, and Home Hardware of Angus uh, provided the sandbags. Township of Essa provided the sand, so we had a really group effort. Members of our chapter assembled them here at the park. Three of the chapter members who were filling the sandbags are in their 80s. And once filled, they were carried by us young fellas in the 60s and 70s uh, to the guard post, which again are symbolic and they're not full scale. And a special thank you to the sergeant who was here on parade. Uh, he didn't have to be here today. I know this could be hard for you, and uh, it's an honor to have you here on the parade. Base Commander Colonel Doyle, he doesn't like being singled out, but you know what? In the last few years, uh, the Colonel has been outstanding in his efforts to support the peacekeeping parade ceremony that we have every day, or every day, every year. I like to have it every day. I'm going to have to go to work. Um, but sir, uh, your, your commitment to the peacekeepers has been, uh, it, it goes beyond words. Um, without you, we couldn't have this today. It's uh, the troops that you supply for uh, for the parade, the equipment that's involved, the organization, the troops that you have involved in organizing the parade, it, it's incredible. And it's because you allow it, sir. And uh, for that, 
I can't thank you enough. It's fantastic. So if you come forward, sir, I have a special presentation for you. And I read what it says. Colonel Carl Doyon, CD, Base Commander, CAB Borden. In appreciation of your support of our chapter, Canadian Association of Veterans and United Nations Peacekeeping, Central Ontario Chapter 2015, and it has a picture of the park. For those of you who have not heard the song before, get your uh, crying towels and your Kleenex ready. For those of you who have heard it before, get your crying towels and your Kleenex ready. She's going to sing a special song about the names on the wall. I saw her from a distance as she walked up to the wall. In her hands she held some flowers, then as her tears began to fall, she took out pen and paper as to trace her memories. She looked up to heaven and the words she said were these oh lord my boy was special and he meant so much to me and oh i'd love to see him just one more time you see all i have are his memories and the moments to recall so Lord, please tell him he's more than a name on a wall. He said he really missed the family and being home on Christmas Day. He died for God and country in a place so far away. I remember just a little boy playing war since he was three. But Lord, I know this time he's not coming home to me. Oh Lord, my boy was special and he meant so much to me. And oh, I'd love to see him. But I know that just can't be. All I have are his memories and the moments to recall. So Lord, please tell him he's more than a name on a wall. So Lord, won't you tell him he's so much more than a name on a wall. Can I ask the mayor, as the township, to come up, please, Terry Donald? Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to be here today. It's such a beautiful day. I think uh, this is probably the best day we've had yet. Otherwise, this is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I just want to, on behalf of the municipality, recognize uh, Deputy Mayor McDonald's here, Councillor White, Smith, and Henderson. Uh, and on behalf of them and all the residents in Essa Township, welcome to our jewel. Uh, we're so proud of Peacekeepers Park here. It took a long time for Peacekeepers Day to be recognized, it seemed, and I really want to thank Fern and uh, Legion Branch 499 for their vision to see what this park could become. And through their vision and hard work and dedication, it's become, quite simply, the jewel of our area. People stop here continually and learn each and every day, and I'm very proud to say on behalf of Otter Township, Peacekeepers Day isn't one day because of this park, it's all year. And I also want to thank all the peacekeepers here today, past, present, and future. Because of you, we have freedoms, and this is the best country to live in. All I can say is thank you.
Colonel, I saved the best for last. You're up. Member of Parliament, Dr. Kelly Leach, MPP Jim Wilson, Anne Bogart, Mayor Dodo, veterans, distinguished guests, thank you so much for being here in great numbers today for this very important event. Mesdames et Messieurs, un grand merci d'être ici en si grand nombre aujourd'hui pour cet événement important. To our Silver Cross mothers and their families, Regina Stinger, Beth McKay, Fred, Carol Collier, and Jim, Paul and O.T. Carrillo, thank you so much for being here today and your outstanding contribution to our nation. Fern, thank you again so much for allowing me to be here today as the Irving officer for today's ceremony. It is truly remarkable to see so many of you, so many of our retired and still serving members, as well as, well as their families here today. We come together on this day every year to remember our loved ones, their families, and the sacrifices that have been made as part of peacekeeping missions around the world. I celebrate today law enforcement officers, paramedics, soldiers, sailors, aviators, and so many others having served or serving Canada that have made the ultimate sacrifice on the wall behind me here in the defense of the values that Canadians hold so dear. We shall continue to live, will continue to live in our hearts and minds and will be honored through times at very important events like today. And as you know, peacekeeping was originally a Canadian idea. The role of the Blue Beret has been a major part of the Canadian forces operations around the world. Cyprus, Egypt, the Sinai, just to name a few. The Canada continue to be recognized and respected à travers le monde for the ensemble of the missions de maintien de la paix dont nous avons participé ou mené. We at Base Borden are honored to stand here today together with you to recognize those individuals that, are, that have participated in the, these missions around the world and fondly remember those that have made the ultimate sacrifice. When I attended this parade for the first time as I became base commander two years ago, I heard Marie Florence Bartley sing that song, I am more than just a name on the wall. I am more than just a name on the wall. Indeed, these names on the wall behind me here represent what we value most. Hope, sacrifice, freedom, democracy, and justice. Lest we forget, we shall never forget them. Thank you and merci. Force as well, air, air cadets or no, just regular force. If, well, if you're if you're in the cadets, welcome as well. Okay, please remain standing for the march off of the troops and the colors.